Right, so there is a lot of confusion around pure components and they are really simple to understand and I guess that the confusion it's because we need to understand which problems pure components solve. Okay, so first we're going to discuss the problem and then I'm going to tell you how to solve it. So I'm going to go back to live, to this uh, route, to the live uh, route right here and of course we have uh, everything else and what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment all the code we have right here and I'm just going to leave the state. That's the only thing I'm going to leave right here. So we have a state with a title, which is uh, the uh, text that it's getting rendered right here. If we go at the bottom, we have the H3 with this that state the title and we have a button to change the title to something else. Okay, that's real simple. Every time that we uh, load this component, it's going to console log a render message right here. So we get rendered. Okay, that's fine. So now if I go to click the change, we're going to change the title for something else and React will re-render this component and show the new title, which is something else. Good. So I'm going to go and do click to change. Let me unmark this. Click to change. Oh, nothing happens. There we go. So we get something else. That's good. And right here we get the first render with the first title and then it's going to re-render. So we get the second render. So that's good. Now, what happens if I keep clicking this click the change. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click it and we get render again. If I click it again, we get render, we get render and we get, you know, we just keep getting rendered. Now, if we think about this, about this, this is the actual problem. We are not changing the title. The title, it's always the same. It's something else whenever we change it for the first time. So why is react re-rendering the application since we have the same value? So this is the problem. Sometimes you can have a larger application with a lot of data going around and some things are going to be changing. Some other things are not going to change, but React will always re-render whenever uh, we trigger something. So with pure components, we can uh, we can uh, we uh, could detect if the state changes and if the state changes, then it's going to re-render. If not, it's not going to re-render. So if you remember with the shoot component update, we could we could do this logic manually. I'm gonna go and uncomment shoot component update. I'm gonna reload the page. So right here we are gonna say if the next st state of title it's something else, which is what we have right here at the bottom, uh, the uh, return is false. So the the application will not re-render. So I'm gonna click the change, and you know it's changing it first, and then oh let me save it. Let's go again. Sorry. I'm going to go and click the change. And of course, nothing happens because this rule it's met. So we return false. Now, the thing is that this information, it's hard coded. How can we check the previous state? So what we could do, we can say this, that state, and then of course, title. And we're going to be comparing the next title, which whatever uh, thing that we have inside the state. So right now we have life cycles. And we are changing and of course we are changing to something else so this state will not be the same so this will not happen and it's going to go and change the state and re-render the application notice that right here we get the first render okay so i'm going to click the change we change it to something else that's good so it's rendered for the second time so if i click it again it's not going to render this condition is met so it's returning false now again imagine you have a lot of data a lot of state going around here a lot of information so what are you gonna are you gonna create one scenario for every uh, piece of uh, state that you have well that's that's kind of a crazy so react is gonna give us a component that we can use and these are pure components so right here we are doing class la uh, class life extends component so what we can do we're gonna bring pure component i'm gonna copy and paste it down here I'm going to go at the bottom and I'm going to just uh, comment this out because we are not going to need it. Okay, so I'm going to reload the page. I'm going to click to change. And of course, the change is going to happen because we have something else right here. Of course, we have a different title. I'm going to click it. And of course, it's uh, re-rendering. So we get something else. Now, if I click it, nothing happens. The pure component, it's checking the state and since we don't have a real change inside the state it's not going to do anything 
Good, you know, this is really, really useful and pure components are really popular today. And you know, they make sense. Why reloading the whole application if uh, the state it's the same? Okay, that's good. Let's go to the next, uh, the next lecture.